I'm Philippa Page from Flock Health. Uh, these ewes have just been weaned, so we've got a mixture of age ewes here. I'm going to go through them, body condition score them, and separate them into groups to get them to the right condition score uh, for tupping time. The other thing we need to consider is our replacement ewes and how we are going to maximise the number of lambs that we get from those ewes. Um, data from 2012 up to 2018. Um, still suggests that endoartic abortion accounts for 35% of lamb losses at lambing time, which is huge. And we've got vaccines to be able to prevent those losses. So we need to look at um, our replacement use. We need to look at where we're getting them from, um, trying to source them from endoartic abortion free flocks if possible. We need to make sure that when we bring them in, uh, we pl we're planning all the time so that we can plan um, how far in advance we need to get them and that we can keep them separate and lamb them separately in their first year, which is really important from a disease spread point of view. Um, we need to prevent them bringing in disease. So by keeping them separate, lambing them separate, we'll be preventing any disease spread if they are bought at lambing time. And also we need to protect the flock, protect our home flock uh, and protect the flock that we're buying in. And we can do that by using um, an abortion vaccine that will prevent against um, endoartic abortion. And we need to give ourselves plenty of time and we need to be planning and thinking about that. At, at weaning time. Um, the vaccine needs to be given four weeks before tupping um, and so we need to make sure that we order that from our supplier and that we've got it in stock. We need to handle the vaccine correctly, it needs to be kept refrigerated um, and we need to make sure that we store it properly, that we're storing it in a proper fridge to get the best out of that vaccine. So we are going to be able to reduce our lamb losses at lambing time, reduce the risk of abortion and prevent those, um, th these use uh, if they come into contact with endoartic abortion, prevent them aborting in the future. Um, the vaccine will give us protection. It's far better than using an antibiotic for control. That doesn't give us any prevention. Um, whereas a vaccine will do, and it will protect the use um, for their productive lifetime. So think about planning now, when we're gonna get replacements. Um, think about preventing bringing disease in so lambing them separately managing them as a separate group and then think about pr protecting your flock with the use of vaccination um, against endoartic abortion.